swimming in this beautiful situation. In this case, I made a mistake. Or, that's the worst case, if I made a mistake in the casting. But anyway, the mistake is all the time mine. Because the director is responsible for every decision. And these two things. Yeah, how do you respond to such a mistake when you realize that mistake on the set? When you are at the location, when you realize that mistake, how do you respond to it? Yeah. I change it the situation. It's happened. For example, once during the touring holes when I, I felt it's forced or something is wrong because she did not find it the, the right. She did not feel it. And in this case, I made lunch break, go guys to the hell, and I'm sitting there in the set and I have to change the situation. Because if they, my great actors are not capable to being, in this case, it's my mistake. And of course, the worst, it's also happened once, when I had to say goodbye an actress. Because I just, so it, she is really not capable to do it. And then I said sorry. Thank That's you. all. But you have to check yourself which kind of mistake what you did. Both are my mistake. Thank you. Yeah, uh, hello, Mr. Ta. Uh, how do you uh, sustain your motivation to complete a film? Uh, don't you get bored? I mean, I just want to ask. Like, what? No. How do you sustain your motivation to complete a film? Don't you get bored while filming? Still don't understand. Not uh, the not the words. Uh, I just don't understand. What do you want to know? No, how do you sustain your uh, drive to complete a film? Like, no. uh, you still don't understand? No, because I enjoy it. When I, I'm doing, I have, if I don't have joy, why are you doing? Why? No reason to do. Yeah. If you are not, and you don't like it, that you don't love it, that you don't, in this case, why are you doing? Are you a masochist? <laughs> hey, if I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, going in the minus ten to this fucking nowhere, and do you think if I don't believe or I don't love it. I'm doing no, surely not. So yeah. So I know you love films, I know you love making it. But this question is kind of uh, in a wider sense, but I want to know, like, personally, like, why, why, why do you make films, and like, why did you make films, like, uh, personal, from personal, not, not like the other reasons, like, I mean, we all love what we are doing, but is there any personal reasons why you started making films? Or you yeah, making? because I wanted to punching you, kicking you. <laughs> and for, forcing you to do a different world. Is it? So, then I have one more question. Can I? No. no. no? Uh, 
hello yeah so uh, this side so so we are uh, we all are uh, living in a society where it's not so perfect so we may have a lot of biases like subconscious biases or something that we don't like we may uh, you know find it that biases there with us so uh, when you do your work did you have any bias that you don't like came into your work and how you come over it you have any example to uh, talk about it it will be good about you know the, how do you overcome biases yes yes like uh, we are living in a patriarchic society so we may expect few kind of you know behavior that from a woman so but we know that is wrong but still we like to you know so uh, will it affect your your you know your narration and uh, how do you come over it if if a thing exists as such a if you had any of those things and i don't know whether i can convey my question it's not really clear about your question actually i un- what i understand is like you come across a lot of biased situations you know, in when you shoot and how do you overcome it and that is what he's trying to ask i think you know during of this shit you have millions of trouble and you have everybody is different and you have to find a key for everybody and this is enough for you and it's uh, you don't seek about yourself if you do this in this case i don't know go to be football player or just something here one bina This will be the last question. Last time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is about editing. You uh, say that you just assemble on the editing table. I'm interested to know that do you not believe that this assembly, you know, when you talk about the script being words and uh, the images coming as a different story, does nothing happen on the editing table? how do you deal with it do you not recognize it and also as a teacher um, is editing not an important part of filmmaking because uh, i mean i know it is because i'm an editor but i'm just saying that how do you uh, why do you not give it that uh, uh, space i suppose i I have to tell you, uh, we are editing, but during of the take, and I decided, okay, now here is a close-up, then a white picture, then we stop here, then, you know, it's happening, just not on the editing table. You know what? In the 60s, Godard said, a real director editing the movie in the camera. And uh, I think I was only one stupid guy who believed him. <laughs> Because he, he was afterwards millions of cuts. But... Uh, You know, it's plus, I don't know, I, I like it to do this kind of choreography, this fluctuation of these things. It's, and if I cut it, I'm breaking the tension. But if I'm doing just very fluently, In this case, the tension is growing up. You know, when it's good 
a real a long take when you are listening you know what is happening and then you feel it everybody the actors and uh, crew members and everybody breathing in the same rhythm you know and uh, this is telling to you okay now we are in and it's it's a different way of the filmmaking i said to you in the very beginning this is only my way and i don't say you follow me i just say this is how i did and that's all Take it or leave it. I said.